Hello, welcome back to Tarot Time with Andy. I would like to continue with the spread I did yesterday on the McCanns. It's bothering me. I need to check into the parents a little more. This is my vibrational reading. Please do your own research, entertainment purposes, and allegedly. Okay, so I am going to start with the major arcanas, and then I'm going to clarify from there. I'm going to do it a little bit differently. I was doing my teaching uh, class today on... Uh, this channel um, and I was telling my um, viewers on the teaching that you can use major arcana and then clarify with the minors and so that's how I'm going to do it just so I can show you how it's done. So it's a really serious question to ask if the parents had any any role. I did get that there was a male involved who did take her and took her to a different location that very same day um, and Basically, she's not alive and, and hid her body. So I would like to find out now if the parents played a role, if they were the ones to um, orchestrate this and were the ones who, who started this. Because I did get a king and queen card. And so, you know, I just feel like I have got to dig a little deeper. So that is what this is. It's just digging a little bit more deeper. Uh, because I just feel the need. So here we go. So did the parents have anything to do with it? Did they have anything to do with it? And then I'm going to have to clarify. So here we go. Did the parents have anything to do with this? Did the parents have anything to do with this? With McCann, Madeline's death, did they, did they do this crime? Did they do this crime? Did they do this crime? Okay, so here we go. I'm going to take this one and this one. And this one, because it's sticking out. So I got three of them. Wow. Yeah, they did. They did. They thought about it. They went inward. They lit the path for the situation. They pushed forward with it and did whatever they needed to do. And here they are right here. So yeah, they did. My, one of my viewers said she believed that the parents did. And then I started thinking, you know, I think you might be right. Uh, because, you know, I definitely got the male who took care of the situation. So let's dig into this here. So what unfolded? I'm going to use the minor arcana now. Here's the minor arcana to clarify. Here we go. Please clarify the double card. What was it? I guess that's the reason there. We need the devil card. Why? Why? What was the reason behind it? What was the reason behind it? Actually, I think I might add my major arcana at this point in time. Add the major. You can add the major. You can stick with the minor. I'm just going to go with what I'm feeling at the moment. And I'm feeling like I need to add the minor, the major. So we've got both. I'm just going to do some more shuffling. And you too can do this at home. Here we go. Why the devil? Why the devil? Why the devil? Here we go. Wow, that's terrible. The star. They felt it was the right thing to do. Oh my. Wow. That's pretty sick. And it was very emotional and they felt it was the right path to take. The next card here. Wow. Wow. They didn't really, the ma the magician in reverse, so that is like total, you know, magician in reverse is, is someone who is not able to totally uh, manifest and make things go in their favor. So I would say that they go to the dark aspect of manifesting and forcing the hand uh, because they can't organically have everything go in their favor. So for some reason, they really wanted to take her out. Um, this is sticking out. And it was a new emotional beginning. They wanted some kind of new emotional beginning. And so they practice this dark aspect, a very dark aspect with the magician in reverse. That's not a higher self. That's not, you know, that's, that's dark magic right there. That's black magic. So it's looking like they were involved in some dark stuff. They were involved in a dark, um, Something they were involved in was very dark, and it was it was a new beginning to them. They saw it as a new beginning um, with her death. Jeez. 
Oh, yeah, and taking her out, cutting her out. And we have here, and causing the Three of Swords, causing, they created the situation. They did create the situation, and they communicated it too. And this is a triangulation. So there, there was, there was the, the couple, the guy that helped them out, and the daughter. I'm going to find out if we can find out why. What was the begin? Why did they need this Ace of Cups moment? Why did they need this Ace of Cups moment? Why did they feel they needed this Ace of Cups moment? Why did they feel they needed an Ace of Cups moment? Well, we have eight in reverse. So they could not overcome something. There was something they were unable to overcome. And they knew that they were coming to a finish line on something, and which meant taking out the daughter because we have the Page of Swords in reverse. Something they didn't want her to talk about. She knew stuff about them. They didn't, they didn't want her talking about something in their private life that could expose them. So now this kind of makes me think, all right, was there sexual, was there something going on? So that's going to be my next question. Was there molestation going on? Was there molestation? Was there molestation? And once again, this is tarot. This is, um, this may or may not be true. <laughs> I want to get sued. Here we go. Was there molestation? Was there molestation? Could have been pedophilia, and, and the father could have been, they could have been doing pedophilia on her. Was there pedophilia? Was there pedophilia involved? Was there pedophilia involved? Pedophilia involved? Was there pedophilia involved? There we go. So the mother did something to become more financially successful and abundant to make money. And she felt that this hard work would be paid off by doing so because she had uh, a, it was slow, a slow gain. This was hard work pays off kind of card. It's, it's um, delayed success, delayed success. So it's looking like maybe she was pimping her out to make money and did it with a support measure. There was a group of people who were very nasty and they were not father figures and her father did not act like a father figure and did not protect her. Uh, that is daddy dearest. And he acted on the surface. He acted like he loved her on the surface, but really he was daddy dearest and there was a support measures. Um, it did make him a little emotional, but he totally was daddy dearest. There was a support here. And yeah, lots of options. It's also the gaslighting card, which is lying to people. So let's find out. So yeah, I'm saying that there was some molestation, that the mother pimped her out. The father was, did not protect her, neither did she. She was interested in making some extra cash. So let's get some more money on the situation. More money, excuse me. <laughs> More cards on the situation. More cards on the situation. Please clarify the Seven of Cups. Please clarify the Seven of Cups. Well, here we go. That fell out. We have the Page of Wands. So they had. They told her to be really courageous in dealing with these people. Page of Wands. We need you to be strong. It's okay, honey. Be strong. It was a spark of interest with her, with these other people, pimping her out. And... Uh, yeah, and they just told her to be strong through the process. And I think they were afraid they were going to get found out because she would get to a point where she could talk about it. And so they took her out. Um, let's put, let's see, was she aware of um, what was going to happen to her? Was she aware of what was going to happen to her? Was she aware of what was going to happen to her? We've got here the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups, she knew it was coming and it was emotional. She kind of had a little bit of a fort. She kind of knew with this Knight of Cups. She knew that they were coming for her, that there, there was a risk. She kind of felt it on an energetic level, I would say, uh, in her own child mind. 
that, that emotional fear was there. There was always that emotional fear that someone would come in. So she always was at fear that there would be some new gentleman coming in and that she would have to give him help. Uh, and that it were, there was an exchange of money. Give him help with whatever and make him happy. Make him feel happy and satisfied. And she was forced to, to act strong over the whole situation. And make sure that things went, went in their favor. And center of the deck. And it was, they, they tried to act like it, it was not a big deal. It's not a big deal. It's not, not that big of a deal. Is how they tried to frame it to her. Um, it's okay. It's natural. Uh, so there's that whole grooming process going on. Uh, just make them happy. We just want to make them happy. So, you know, here comes the night. You just got to make them happy, honey. And then be strong. It's not that big of a deal. You're helping out mommy and daddy. You're just helping him. So that was the brainwashing. You're just helping him. Be happy. You're making someone happy. We like to make people happy. That's the brain. That's how the grooming went. Ugh. Yikes. Okay. So I just had to clarify that. Sad. Sad. Uh, but that's... That's my final finding. I, d I needed to do that. So it, I did cut it kind of short yesterday, and it does get kind of deep and um, convoluted, and going down the rabbit hole is not my favorite thing to do. So. so today I went down the rabbit hole, so I will call this the rabbit hole. All right, you guys, till next time, like and subscribe, and I hope she rests at peace. She's a, she is in safe hands now. Bye, you guys.